Hi, my name is Vivian Infantino. I'm a makeup artist and stylist in the Burlington area. As a stylist, I often work with accessories, and those accessories often include working with precious jewelry. Today, I'd like to introduce you to some lovely pieces here at the University Mall in Burlington. A collaboration with Bella Lusso, Hanush Jewelers, K Jewelers, and Zales. Today, I'd love to talk to you about what's trending and what's traditional and where trend and tradition meet in the middle or create a whole new idea. As we look at trends, one of the first that comes to mind is the idea of stackables. We've seen this for a while now, and one of the places you'll see it most are among delicate rings that, when put together, create bolder statements. Bella Lusso has lovely, delicate rings that, when grouped together, create more bling. Basically, simply, more bling. You can choose one band, let's say a segmented band with little diamond stones, and it can be your wedding ring. But as you add other ones that maybe commemorate other moments in time, you create this look that's stackable. There are segmented rings. There are simple bands with a, an asymmetrical sweep of diamonds. There are shaped rings. And there are solitaires that actually can be placed alongside the stackables. When we take a look at layering, which is another trend that's been around for a while, we're mostly referring to necklaces. We have a lovely example of stacked necklaces from these two by a mother-daughter team, Mira T, which are carried at Bella Lusso. They are delicate. There are tiny diamonds. There is actually the symbol of the evil eye in one of them. And the combination actually creates for a beautiful play of light and whimsy and delicacy. And we have a very lovely standalone pendant necklace that juxtaposes a small group of diamonds with a pearl pendant drop from the Gabriel collection from Hanush. Serena Williams has designed her Unstoppable collection, and in this case includes a lovely, delicate pendant necklace that simply says loved. What a great gift. So what I love about Serena Williams' collection is that Serena believes you can be a powerful force for change in life. We're also seeing tradition circle back around in new ways. And one of the most traditional pieces of all is the engagement ring. And the way it's circling back in new ways is in a three-stone engagement ring that most people think is a trend today, but actually goes back 20 years to De Beers, the diamond company that brought the idea of the three-stone engagement ring into being. So we have several three-stone engagement rings that are absolutely lovely. The Leo from K Jewelers has extra facets in it so that when held to the light, you actually see colors of the rainbow. It has a halo of diamonds around the center stone, and it has a twist or spiral of diamonds down the sides that symbolize eternity. Another exquisite three-stone diamond is Virajo's insignia ring from Hanush Jewelers. I think the best way to talk about it is its architecture. If you hold that ring up and see all the lattice work and the stones there and the elevated setting, you'll see that the three stone engagement ring has taken on a whole new look. And it too has a sweep of diamonds down the side and all of their rings are perfect for any number of center stones that you might like. Now, if by chance you still love a solitaire, but you're thinking about a stone other than a diamond, you might like to take a look at this solitaire ring, which is available at Bella Lusso, which is actually a moissanite stone. It's a natural stone. It is set in this artisanal gold ring 
that actually has the design of a frame on the bottom. And if we hold it up also to the light and turn it and look at it, you'll see the unique detail of the raised setting with the tiny diamond inserted and the frame at the bottom. So let's say you'd like a stone other than a diamond. How about a sapphire? We're actually seeing sapphires show up in both men and women's collections. And to make this even more interesting, there are companies and brands who you hear about in fashion. There are celebrities involved that are designing exquisite pieces that include sapphires. So one example is Disney's collection, available at Zales, with this lovely engagement ring with a London blue sapphire surrounded by diamonds and once again with a raised architecture so that the ring stands up and there's just exquisite detail on all sides. Now, you might not think of sapphires in a men's ring, but look at this exquisite ring from Vera Wang, available at Zales, that includes sapphires in a men's wedding ring. Vera actually includes a sapphire in every piece of jewelry she designs, so this is not a one-off. This is actually a way to make a statement about who she is as a brand. But what's interesting to me in this men's band is that you've got material, you've got raised textures and raised edges with these tiny baguette diamonds and sapphires, really deep blue sapphires in the men's band. Lastly, let's talk about mixing materials. It's kind of a way to bring tradition and trend back around to meet in the middle. And a really fantastic example of this is the Citizen's Watch that in this case mixes black leather with gold. In Citizen's Eco Watch, you actually never have to wind it or buy a battery for it because it's solar operated. The Citizen's Black Men's Watch is available through K Jewelers. Remember that watches often become heirlooms. They're an incredible way to pass from one generation to the next. The gift of love, the gift of saying, I'm thinking about you all the time. If you'd like to explore these jewelry pieces further or delve further into the idea of trends and tradition, texture, juxtaposition, please visit our jewelers in the University Mall. The folks who've given us these wonderful pieces today are Bella Lusso, Hanush Jewelers, K Jewelers, and Zales. If you'd like to know more about my styling work, please reach out to me via social media, whether it be Facebook, Instagram, or LinkedIn. Once again, my name's Vivian Infantino.